a busy spot both day and night. Brady Street at Warren Avenue became the scene of a hit and run Saturday, September 2nd, around 9 p.m. This surveillance camera captured the moment a gray SUV on Brady Street quickly turned left, slammed into a pedestrian in the crosswalk, and kept driving, leaving the victim injured in the middle of the street. That's sad. I, I know that there was a one that happened before. It comes less than four months after the driver of this Jeep Patriot seriously injured Quincy Alexander, and a year since a driver hit and killed Arnie Bast both just blocks away from this month's hit and run. Have you ever had any close calls as a pedestrian? I've been hit more than once. Luckily, it just bounced off, you know, but yeah. It's an issue that's prompted City Hall's attention. How often are you having conversations about pedestrian safety on Brady Street? Uh, weekly. Alderman Jonathan Brostoff's district includes Brady Street. He's helped facilitate a study that explores four options to either slow vehicle traffic down or eliminate it altogether on the popular street. Uh, we're still getting some more community input. And we also would have to identify funding sources. So we're kind of at that phase and we haven't uh, necessarily secured that yet. In the meantime, what's your message to drivers here on Brady Street? Slow down, pay attention. Yeah, that's the best thing you could do. Stop for pedestrians, stop for bikers, take a breath, and stop acting like jerks on the road. Well, Hannah, do you know how this most recent hit and run victim is doing tonight? Well, we do know that he is out of the hospital right now, but did suffer multiple broken bones following this crash that happened here in the intersection. Now, coincidentally, there's a group of pedestrian safety advocates that are going to be out here tomorrow night at 530. They're going to be just two blocks away from where we are, and that's where they're going to be promoting pedestrian rights and safety. Hannah Hill, you're reporting live in Milwaukee tonight. You can read more about that safety study that Hannah mentioned in her story and watch our previous stories about the proposed changes right now on the WISN 12 app.